I think I think this it's is our team that we can lay off so much activity and I can still get in trouble. The smiling Don. Honestly, I don't believe the phrase of some of the people some of the time. Smile, ladies. Smile, oh. Alrighty, we're ready, ladies and gentlemen, for Team Trivia 2012. Welcome. Hope you're well. Uh, looking forward to a great day. Can I just say, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. What? That. Where's the whale? What do you mean, where's the whale? He's right there in front. Ooh, there he is. <laughs> Question number one. Lavender. Yeah, did you see the softlessness? Uh, I'm yes. so sorry about that. We got and when it first came on, it looked like I was absolutely naked. I was like, oh, mum, please don't be watching this. Please don't be watching this. Question one. No. What is the high jump method of jumping head first and landing on the back? To answer that. Who was Alexander the Great's teacher? That is number three. Boston. Wait to hear that noise. Oh. Uh, Want to hear it again? Oscar-winning title role. Rejected by both Marlon Brando and Albert Finney, and you know if Marlon Brando rejected it. Wow. Brought stardom to the little known actor who signed for the part. Here it is again. What Oscar winning title role? Rejected by both Marlon Brando and Albert Finney. Brought stardom to the little known actor who signed for the part. I will ask you the question again. Oh. What Oscar winning title role? Rejected by both Marlon Brando and Albert Finney, brought stardom to the little known actor. Lateral humoral epicondylitis. Yes, the bottom. All righty. What was the. Because I'd have one. Got a good noise? All right. Question 14. Here's the other of the two entertainment questions that I had together that I've separated. But I love this question because it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. With two Fs? With a double F, yes. Sorry. The best actress Oscar winner in 1989. Wait for it. And the Best Actress Oscar winner in 1990. The next movie they both made was Together in 1992. I need the name of the movie these two actresses made together in 1992. Right. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, any uh, questions you'd like to hear again? Please speak now or forever hold your peace. What's, what's, what was it? 14 again. Yes. Best Actress Oscar winner in 89 and the winner in 1990. The next movie they both made was Together in 1992. I need the name of the movie. Any more repetitions? Number four was so long ago. Oh, it's the other one. What Oscar-winning title role, rejected by both Marlon Brando and Albert Finney, brought stardom to the little-known actor who signed for the part? Any more? Going once. Going twice. Hello. Why not? Gone, ladies and gentlemen. One minute to complete your answer papers. One minute. This is as as any gets we got. Are you filming me? So. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, no. Hello. Don't know them. Don't bother. Do you have a pen? Are we ready? Let's do it. Question number one was this. What is the high jump method of jumping headfirst and landing on your back? Uh, Fosbury flop. The Fosbury flop is the right answer. The Fosbury flop, invented by Dick Fosbury, which is a great name. Question two. 
How many different animal shapes are there in the Animal Crackers Cookie Zoo? 10, 14, or 18? How many of you put 10? Yeah. How many of you put 14? How many of you put 18? Ladies and gentlemen, there are two bears, one walking, one seated, a bison, a camel, a cougar, an elephant, a giraffe, a gorilla, a hippopotamus, a hyena, a kangaroo, a lion, a monkey, a rhinoceros, a seal, a sheep, a deer, and a zebra. 18 is the right answer. 18 different animal shapes. Yes, somebody spent the time to count them, put them onto a little bit of paper, and make it a question. <laughs> Only somebody with an Only the father of the toddler. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, you're going to walk away, you're going to be heading around the Blue Island tomorrow in New Caledonia, and someone's going to go, Excuse me, what was you? You know how many cookies? Go behind the cookie. I opened my box. There was only 14 in your box. Do you know what? Honestly, I'll take them back, sir. Honestly. <laughs> Question number three. Here we go. Question three. Who was Alexander the Great's teacher? Aristotle. Aristotle is the right answer. Yes. Spell H A R R Y. Aristotle. Number four. Let's see how you going on with this one. What Oscar winning title role, rejected by both Marlon Brando and Albert Finney, brought Stardom to the little known actor who signed for the part? Lawrence, Lawrence of, Arabia. of Arabia. Is the right answer. Well done. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. Peter O'Toole. Lawrence of Arabia. We made Good job. Number five. Uh, what was the profession of Edmund Hillary? How many of you have got a restaurant owner? How many of you have a rugby coach? How many of you have a beekeeper? Correct answer. Beekeeper. Oh yeah. Which I've thought about a lot. Now I think I've got a, I've got a thought, a theory about this. Apart from the thought that I thought Tenzing Norkai already knew who it had already been, just didn't tell anyone. Is I thought, I think that Edmund Hillary actually one day had a bad day with the bees. Bad day with the bees, left a little slit open in the side, a few bees got in, and he thought, I've got to get somewhere where there's going to be no bees. Everest. So that's it, that's what I think he went. Funny where my head that was when it came out. Number six. What 120,000 square mile African desert is almost completely covered by woods and grass? The Kalahari Desert is the right answer, yes. Kalahari Desert. Number seven, what is the capital city of uh, Bulgaria? Sofia. I told you what it was. Sofia is the right answer, Sofia. Number eight, who earned infamy for noting a billion dollars isn't what it used to be? Who is it? John Paul Yeti. So Paul Getty is the right answer. Horsey. Horsey. Number nine, which current world champion boxer has won world titles in eight different weight divisions more than any other boxer in history? Is the right answer Manny Pacquiao. Oh, oh, close. Close. Manny Pacquiao. Wow, that was a You ask good, uh, any of our Filipino crew, he is a legend. Legend. Superman. He's a legend. He is uh, the how from that best part of the world right now. Number 10. Which of the five senses is sharpened by a radial keratotomy? Sight. Sight. Yes, the sight. Number uh, 11. Who appeared on a 1995 cover of Time Magazine headline for Master of the Universe? Stephen Hawking. Something I believe to do with Windows 95. Bill Gates is the right answer, yes. Well, Bill Gates. Wrong, the wrong category. Yeah. Can we move it? We used him before. You used him for another answer. You'd like to move him now from number... <laughs> Which one did you use him for? Eight. The billion dollars one. Yes, All right, sir. there we go. No. Uh, number 12, what is the smallest time interval? Uh, who has a microsecond? Who has a nanosecond? Who has a picosecond? Give yourself a point. Picosecond is the right answer. Microsecond is one millionth of a second, a nanosecond is one billionth of a second, and a picosecond is one trillionth, trillionth of a second. Oh, sorry? Oh, hang on. 
Yeah, I just, for a pico second there, I just thought about something that's gone. Thirteen! What is the common term for the element a lateral humeral epicondylitis? Tennis elbow is the right answer, yes. Tennis elbow, well done. Okay, let's see how you got on with 14. Best Actress, Oscar winner in 89, and the winner in 90. The next movie they made was Together in 1992. If I told you that the Best Actress, Oscar winner in 1989 was Jessica Tandy. Oh, the one driving. Driving Miss Daisy. Daisy. In 1990, Kathy Bates for Misery. Fried green tomatoes is the right wow. answer. Fried green That's tomatoes. How many of you got that right? Nobody. Yes. Twenty. At least nobody else got it. That's right. <laughs> my my favourite. My, uh, sorry. Absolutely meaningless. Fried. Depending on the spelling. Fried green tomatoes. And in the UK, it was called Fried Green Tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. At the Whistle Stop Cafe, actually, but there you go. Fanny Fly was the author. Yeah, it was great. Fanny Fly. Fun book. There you go. Fun book. Did anyone, no, nobody got that right? No. Ah. Uh, there it was. It was a, you know what? Everyone was so close. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, my love, my darling, I've come good for your touch. Oh, like, for your touch. There are your three words. Well done. For your touch. Turn up the scores. Let's find out how we get. Did we get that? There we are, getting our awards, our O points. Smile, Captain front John. Camera, John. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Yay. See, now you know I was videoing. <laughs> it's our moment. There you go. Excellent. This is the moment. That's right. We're reason it didn't want to focus but you're perfect now say hello Hi. <laughs> there's our wine guy I guess I should say we're out in the fantail what time is it about 8 30 something like that 8 30 beautiful night leaving Brisbane we just had a little cocktail party so our tribute team, after coming in third, is sort of celebrating. I don't remember. It's not. Plus the fact that smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's the head of the camera, it seems to be able to move and get their way to it. Oh, he's uh, videoing. Videoing. Oh, okay. That's even worse. I'll give it to you. Good, good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Yeah, we do. We, we, we will. Us. No, we will come to Washington. See us. That's, that's the one thing we must. That's one of the places we really. Need. And there's Robert. First, if you go to Washington in our.